Business Today is brought to you by... More great cities just got closer. The Scotiabank Aero Platinum MasterCard is now even better. Fly to New York, Miami, Orlando, and Fort Lauderdale with just 20,000 Scotia points. With your new Scotiabank Aero Platinum MasterCard, you'll receive a welcome bonus of 10,000 Scotia points so you can enjoy the cities you love most sooner than ever. Apply today. Call 426-7000 or visit your nearest branch. This is Business Today, I'm Marlon Madden. Finance Minister Chris Sinclair admits Barbados must modernize and restructure some of its regulations to improve its competitiveness. And he wants to see changes in behavior and practices that impact on trade facilitation with the launch of the Barbados Electronic Single Window System. Sinclair made the comments at the launch of the new system at the Lloyd Erskine Sandiford Center on Wednesday. We simply cannot challenge the fact that as a country heavily dependent on international trade, and this is over three billion Barbados dollars on imports since 2010, for domestic consumption and production, we must commit to simplifying and streamlining existing regulations, behaviors, and practices that impact business. Officials are hoping the new structure, which cost a total of US $11.8 million to implement, will help to improve the island's competitiveness. Sinclair says the new system will provide a number of benefits for both the private sector as well as government. The business facilitation system will, among other things, allow those doing business with over 50 government departments and agencies to submit documents and fill out some applications at a single location using an online platform. As local businesses continue to make necessary changes to their operations in order to become more competitive, they are demanding more intimate time with their telecommunications provider cable and wireless business solutions. And the new vice president of cable and wireless business solutions, Jensen Sylvester, is promising to leave no stones unturned. Most of the businesses, or all of the businesses in Barbados, have one or more products or services from cable and wireless business. So it's important that we focus on making those services better for our customers. So that's point number one, focusing on our customer experience. Second is getting to know our customers more, more intimately. So spending time with them, getting to understand their businesses. And we're doing that by making sure that we have dedicated account teams, dedicated service delivery teams, to make sure that we understand our customers better. Finally, we're going to use that understanding to make sure that we deliver best-in-class products and services, having understood their businesses, to help them move their business forward. Business is booming at the Ramada in Miami Airport, and a lot of that is due to regular visits by Barbadians, says General Manager Dwight Pilgrim, who is a Barbadian himself. He tells Business Today almost 80% of the guests at the 300-room property are from Barbados, the Bahamas, and other Caribbean islands. Repeat visitors are, Bar I say Barbadian, my Bajans. Repeat our Bajans. And I tell you, when they arrive here, uh, they know, and I think people are getting extremely comfortable now knowing that there's someone from Barbados that actually manages the operation. And I welcome them. I met a lot of fantastic friends I know from uh, Barbados, uh, downtown Bridgetown, that own their own businesses. They fly into Miami from here straight to New York City. They do their shopping. The popular Miami hotel is enjoying a turnaround in business despite recent price hikes at the facility. Pilgrim says the increases were justified as the hotel strives to offer its guests a top-of-the-line experience. There's a lot of competition in the market. There's always going to be increases everywhere. Um, uh, pricing is what makes our world go around. The same price you had last year is going to change. But one of the things is uh, you've got to pride uh, every establishment is based on the service. Um, uh, our property itself, through the transition, close to 125 um, uh, employees. Uh, we base our uh, price structure on product. Now for today's financial tip. It is important to ensure that your elderly relatives have all their relevant financial and other paperwork in order and in a location that can easily be found. Locating important documents can be a difficult process if you wait until your loved one becomes incapacitated. That's been Business Today. Join us again next Tuesday. Until then, you can get more business and news by logging on to www.barbadostoday.bv subscribing to our e-paper and liking us on Facebook. I'm Marlon Madden.